Maybe I'm just high, but... How is weed Schedule 1 yet alcohol and tobacco aren't classified? Our beloved plant was recently moved from Schedule 1 to 3, but why? To seem progressive to voters. Elections are coming up soon, and it makes me look great. Oh, you look so good. I know it. It also changes something without really having to change anything for now. Schedule 1 substances are those that have been deemed dangerous, habit-forming, with high risk of abuse, and of no medicinal value. Tobacco and alcohol check all of these boxes. Every year in the USA, there's more than 178,000 deaths from excessive alcohol use, plus 11,000 DUI-related deaths. While smoking tobacco is the number one preventable cause of death in the US, killing over 480,000 people per year. But with cannabis, no amount of weed can kill you and is nowhere near as harmful as the other two. So why are alcohol and tobacco not Schedule 1? Or any schedule for that matter? Money. They got it, and we want it! Yes, lobbying and campaign financing are big contributors. Since they're funded and legal, they're regulated by a different set of laws known as the Alcohol and Tobacco Tax and Trade Bureau. Not to mention arresting people for drugs has no effect on drug use or overdose rates. So why continue to do it? Make it make sense.